everyone and welcome back to the online Norwax party. This is video number four and just another reminder that again my name is Brie Crandall, your Norwex consultant. So in this video we aren't going to be talking about any products that are part of a set or a specific set. They might be included in one of our packages but we're not going to be talking about specific packages today. I want to talk to you about one of our um, most loved products for the company and that is our MOP and then um, some of my favorite uh, kitchen products. So, and then I'm, with the mop, I'm gonna show you some of our products that go with that as well. So I have my mop kind of broken uh, into the pieces so that you would be able to see how it would look when it comes. So first of all, there are two different colors of our mop. Um, there is our original like blue and green, and then there is our recycled version, which is like a rose gold and a champagne. So that is the one that I have. So that's the one that you'll be seeing in the videos is the rose and champagne one. I refer to it as the pretty mop. So if I say that at all, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, I have, like I said, I have mine taken apart. So this is the, um, the head to it. And what I like about this is it's got, first of all, it moves full 360, so you can really get under things really well. So, uh, so things like your couch, um, chairs, tables, stuff like that, and really weave in and out. Um, I also forgot to mention there are two different sizes. So this is the large. There's a small version as well. So the large or the small is probably like if you were to from here over. But um, people always ask what, like, which one should I get? And just think the bigger, that's more that you can clean in less amount of time. So I would just say get the bigger one. Um, it's $15 more. It's just worth the extra money. And not all of the mop pads come in the small size where they all come in the large size. So, um, and then this has got Velcro on it. So all of our pads have um, Velcro. But what I really like about this is it's got this lock button here. So you can lock this into place and then um, it won't move side to side. It'll just move up and down. So then you can do things like your walls and stuff like that, um, your ceilings, if you need to do that um, really well. And that's really nice. So if you purchase the set, you would receive the, the um, mop head the two pads so there's a dry and a wet pad the dry and the wet and just like everything else everything is labeled so it does say um floor dry and then floor wet and then here is our mop handle so what i really like about our mop is let me go ahead and put this on is that it's got this um, ball at the end of it, which you can use to um, get scuff marks off of your baseboards and or just uh, off of your floors in general. So when you go to put on a pad, the pad's going to be a little bit bigger than the head regardless of if you have the large or the small. So I always suggest to kind of put it off to the side so that this side will flap up and then you can get your, um, your baseboards uh, with this. Okay. Then another thing that I really like is that the handle gets, goes up and down. Of course, it's not going to work right now. You would normally just turn this and it would go up and down, but it needs to be right around where your chin is. So mine's already there. So I'm not going to mess with this right now. So as you're sweeping or, um, so your sweep is going to be kind of what you would, uh, use your broom for. Now it's not going to, um, pick up things like your uh, Cheerios and stuff. It'll push those in front. It's not going to pick those up, obviously. So you want to move in a figure eight motion where you're always pushing 
the uh, dirt in front of your mop. And then when you're done, you if you do have a little pile in front of your mop, you can just use your Enviro cloth, get it a little wet and just scoop that right up if you feel the need. So I don't know if you can see that, but I got all that dog hair. So I've got two dogs. And then we've got this rubber brush to clean our um, mop pads. Now that is what this brush is advertised for, but there are so many more uses to this brush. I always tell people that this is probably one of my favorite uh, products for the price. So I use this to clean the dog hair off my stairs because it really gets in the crease of my stairs. Um, you can almost use it as like a lint roller. Um, it doesn't work quite as well as our lint mitt for that, but it's really um, works really well. But you can also use this to clean other things that we've got. So like our dust mitt. So I um, use this in one of the other videos. So I'll just clean that off and we're back to good as new. And then you don't have to then launder everything every single time that you use it. But this is a lifesaver. And I also use this to really um, get that stain remover into my clothes if I, because this is rubber, so. So then we would use our wet pad. So the wet pad looks like this. Same thing, I would put it off to the side a little bit. So the wet pad, either you can spray the floor or you can spray the pad or just completely get your pad um, wet under the sink. I'm just gonna spray mine because this room here is small and this is just water. And then you'll go through and do the same exact thing. But you saw how quick it was for me to do that with the broom or with our dry pad. So it would be the same thing here and it just goes super quick. And I love this because in my house I don't really have carpet at all. So this is a huge lifesaver in my house. Now, as you can see, I still, I don't know if you can see that actually, I still got more dog hair up and then all this dirt here. It's kind of gross actually. But what I really like about this is we have other pads. So we ha also have this chenille dry mop pad. This is really good if you've got um, dogs. So I usually actually do this one first if I'm doing uh, or if I'm cleaning my living room where there's a little bit more traffic for the dog hair, I'll usually go through with this one first, pick up all the dog hair, and then do the dry mop pad to get more of the dirt and stuff up. But one of our new products that we got at the beginning of the year was a window mop uh, pad. So our window cloth made into a mop pad, meaning that now you can do your um, clean your windows with your mop, especially if you've got some exterior ones that are a little bit bigger. This is amazing. But then they also went ahead and they made a handle if you um, if they weren't uh, high up and you did and you wanted to just uh, or if maybe they're inside something a little bit smaller you've got the handle. And like I said um, in our dusting video, you can also uh, hook the Enviro wand up to the mop head and be able to really get some tall fans. But what's cool about this little attachment here is on the end, it's got this little brush to get um, the dust out of the like little crevices of your window. 
So I thought that that was really cool. And I've actually surprisingly used that a lot more than what I thought I would. So there is our mop products. Um, so then to get to our kitchen products. So yesterday we did the um, laundry products. So just to kind of piggyback off of that, we do have um, a dishwasher powder as well, uh, like our laundry detergent. And what I really like about this is you really shouldn't be having like Tide Pods and things like that um, or the little Cascade um, things going through your dishwasher and your laundry machine because you really shouldn't have plastic running through your lines that really clogs them up and it makes them disintegrate faster. So with this not being wrapped in anything, it's actually better for your appliances, makes it last longer. And then we also have this magnet ball. So the magnet ball is one of my favorite products because I live in the city, so I have hard water. So I used to have to put iron out in my laundry and I really hated doing that because again, you know, it's just another chemical that you're having to add just so that your laundry doesn't turn orange and things like that. Well, this allows me to not have to use any of that anymore and I can just um, put this in and it takes all that hard water, the rust, the iron out of the water and everything runs as normal and it's amazing. So I actually have two of these. I have one for my for my washer and then one for my dishwasher. Uh, absolutely love this product. So then some of our other items that we've got for our kitchen, um, we've got these netted dishcloths. So this is like what you would use to kind of rinse your dishes off um, if you have like the old like knitted ones. Uh, they're kind of the same thing as that. They're really big. And what's nice is they come in a set of two. But I actually, I don't really care for them sometimes this big. So I usually keep one like this and then I'll cut one in half and then in half again so that I've got like half of a piece and then two quarter size pieces um, because it does come in a set of two. And then I like those quarter size pieces for things like my lunchbox and stuff. Um, or even the bathroom to get toothpaste off the sink because it's these make it really easy to get toothpaste off the sink um, and things like that. So these come in both gray and blue and they come in a set of two. So um, really great product for the cost. Then we've got our um, all purpose kitchen cloth. So sorry that this seems a little bit dirtier, but this is made for grease. So um, gets a little bit of the deeper clean. So I will usually use this on my stove and then on my kitchen counters um, after we've used stuff with oil and stuff in it. So that seems like it's dirtier than what it actually is. But one of my favorite cloths because of how it's woven. So it's um, got this little waffle weave. It's the only uh, cloth that we have that has that weave to it. And it's uh, really good at getting into the grains of your products to get the grease out. Okay, then we've got the stainless steel cloth. So this is a newer product as well. And before uh, I had gotten some new kitchen appliances, I didn't really have stainless steel in the house. So I didn't really see a need of me having this product, especially because the window cloth and your Enviro cloth will kind of do the same thing. But now that I've gotten a new fridge and a new dishwasher that are stainless steel, I wanted this product and I love it. So, but it did take me a little while to figure it out um, how it worked the best. So I found that there are two different sides to it. So there is one that's a little bit um, shinier and then one that's a little bit softer. So the softer one is more like your Enviro and then the shinier side is more like your window cloth. So you would go through wash your fridge or whatever your stainless steel product is with your Enviro side first in some water 
and then go through and polish. So it is kind of like I said, your Enviro and your window cloth put together. Uh, it just makes that process a little bit easier and in one cloth. And it is not actually the Enviro, but they are similar. And this works amazing. So then we've got just like our, our regular like kitchen cloth. Um, this is the kitchen cloth, this is the kitchen towel, and then they can um, be purchased as a set as well. Um, so the kitchen cloth is more just like your kitchen hand towel, pretty basic, but these have a nice deep weave to them. So they're really good at picking up crumbs and uh, stuff like that. And then this is our kitchen towel. So much bigger, again, more like your hand towel type thing in your kitchen, but these are some of my faves. I'll, I just like them also for the pop of color in my kitchen. Okay, two more products to show you here. So um, one is our veggie scrub cloth. So this has like, again, the two sides. So one side is very gritty and one side is very soft. So this is to um, clean your fruits and vegetables from the uh, products that are put on them while they are in the store uh, and stuff like that. So our scrubby side is for your veggies or things that have a hard um, peel to them. And if you do it hard enough, you can actually like peel potatoes or carrots with these. Uh, and then the soft side is more for your uh, softer things like uh, strawberries and stuff like that. So you don't peel them, but you're cleaning those off. Really great product there. And last we have our um, counter cloth set. So the counter cloth here is what is going to replace like your um, paper towels in your kitchen. So I will use these for like bagels and stuff in the morning, literally just a quick wipe down of the counter. If I just spilled some water, this is your paper towel in the home. So what I like about these is they come in a set of three um, or you can get this cute little set. So if you get this set, then it will come with six cloths. Um, I've, purchase more because I use them often. So I have more than six here, but it would come with six cloths and this little um, thing to sit on your counter to hold them all. And what I like about this is I, after I'm done using it, especially if it's like with water or something, I'll just lay it across the top to have it uh, dry out. But those are all of my products that I've got to show you today. So that was our mop and our kitchen products. And our last video is gonna go over some of our bathroom products. But again, just let me know if you've got any questions on anything and I hope to be talking to you soon. Have a great day.